Yeah, guys, I saw Eclipse. Pretty strange how I saw all three Twilight movies in the theater. So I, like almost every other male, hate Twilight. The characters are unlikable and bland, and the action also usually sucks. But did Eclipse redeem the series and make up for its two terrible predecessors? Not really. I'll give you the synopsis. Edward still wants, but doesn't want, Bella to be a vampire. He wants to wait until the two are married and Bella can do everything she will miss as a human first. Meanwhile, the crazy redhead played by Bryce Dallas Howard is creating an army of newborns to try and kill Bella. And of course there's Jacob pretty much forcing Bella to be in love with him. Jesus, when does this chick get a break? So, cast of actors time. Kirsten Stewart still sucks as Bella Swan. Every scene she's in, she's just looking down, looking all depressed and shit. It seems like she just doesn't want to be there. Well, I can't really blame her for that. Robert Pattinson is actually a lot better here as Edward, who was terrible in the last two films. As for Taylor Lautner, he hasn't really improved. In fact, he's gotten worse. Every line he has to say is just painful to listen to. What sucks is that the supporting actors are actually pretty good. Dakota Fanning, Jackson Rathbone, Ashley Green, and Dice Bryce Dallas Howard all seem more into their roles than our three main people. And I really like Billy Burke as the father. But for now on, let's move on to the good stuff. As I stated before, this movie is definitely the best of the series. The action is a lot more entertaining and that's probably due to it being directed by David Slade, who directed Hard Candy and 30 Days of Night. I think it's pretty funny that he was making fun of Twilight before he signed on to direct this. And I also enjoyed how this installment made fun of the flaws that were in the last two movies. The concept is also cool. It just sucks how the same unlikable characters and the annoying banter between Edward and Jacob just kill it all. I think it's a time to again rant on Twilight. First of all, I can kind of stand Edward, but I just wish that Jacob died. I just can't stand how we're supposed to think he's cool or something, but in all honesty, he's just a dick. A really annoying dick, who doesn't like shirts. There are also some pretty boring scenes that drag on. Some of it's bearable, but it's just torture trying to sit through the five minute arguments between the biggest pussy of a vampire and the most emotionally immature werewolf ever shown on screen. So overall, this movie did have some great elements and could have greatly redeemed the franchise, but the same problems from New Moon and Twilight just kill a lot of it. I would say rental at best. 5 out of 10 for Twilight Eclipse. Now let me just give you some info of um, some movies I saw, because I've been kind of being a dick, not making any reviews. I saw two movies that I won't be making reviews for. Jonah Hex, which I actually really liked. I know I'm going to be shot for that, but I'd give it an 8 out of 10. And I also saw Get Him to the Greek, which I freaking loved. Really wish I made a review for it, but it's definitely the best comedy of the year so far, so 9 out, of 9 out of 10 for that. I also saw Inception and Predators, and I'll be making reviews for both of those movies. So stay tuned.